The Dark Truth Behind the Killer Legend, Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Countess Elizabeth Bathory is known for legendary sadism. She is one of the most prolific female murderers. Whatever the case, the story of Countess Bathory is one of an evil woman who sucked the soul out of her victims for vanity. She was a real-life vampire, a torturer, a horrid human who bathed in the blood of innocence in a bid to keep herself looking young. Elizabeth Bathory was born on a family estate in Royal Hungary in 1560 or 1561. She was the daughter of Baron George Bathory and Baroness Anna Bathory. She was of noble lineage, including having relations to the King of Poland and the Prince of Transylvania among her relatives. This bloodline was one of generational inbreeding, including her parents, who were close relations. This is believed to be why she suffered from poor health throughout her childhood. She suffered from severe epileptic seizures that led to an array of crazy cures that inspired many of the most insidious stories about the Bathory vampire legend. Her life has become a conspiracy theory due to the lack of hard evidence of her childhood, but it is alleged that her evilness manifested itself during her childhood, and some conspiracy stories suggest that her seizures were treated by rubbing the blood of a non-sufferer onto her lips or using a piece of their skull, and this led to her needing more and more blood. Another theory states that her family trained her to be cruel and satanic, but this is not backed up by evidence as she was a young girl who lived a privileged and luxury lifestyle alongside other Hungarian nobles. As was often the case, she was engaged at a young age and at only 10 years old, she had been promised to Ferenc Nadesdi, a nobleman and heir to one of the wealthiest dynasties in the region, but still of lower social standing than Elizabeth. They married five years later when she was 15 and he was 19, and he took the surname Bathory. Only a few years after the wedding, her husband was promoted to the chief commander of Hungarian troops, and he was sent to war against the Ottoman Empire, leaving Elizabeth behind. She birthed at least five children, although some reports suggest she had another that died during infancy, and her husband died on the 4th of January 1604, at the age of 48, after 29 years of marriage to Bathory. By this point in time, allegations of atrocities had become commonplace across the kingdom. Word was beginning to spread about her sadistic activities. It was said that she enjoyed torturing and killing young girls, and at first they were servants at her castles, daughters of the local peasants, but later they included girls sent to her by local gentry families to learn good manners. She believed that the drinking of the young girl's blood would preserve her youthfulness and her looks, and witnesses told of her stabbing victims or biting their breasts, hands, faces and arms, cutting them with scissors, sticking needles into their lips or burning them with red-hot irons, coins or keys. Some were beaten to death and some were starved. Bathory was born in Transylvania in 1560 to a distinguished family that included kings, cardinals, knights and judges. Though she counted many luminaries among her relatives, her family tree also featured some seriously disturbed kin. One of her uncles instructed her in Satanism, while her aunt also taught her. At the age of 15, Bathory was married to Count Nadadi, and the couple settled into a castle. To please his wife, her husband reportedly built a torture chamber to her specifications. Bathory's torture included jamming pins and needles under the fingernails of the servant girls, and tying them down, smearing them with honey, leaving them to be attacked by bees and ants. Although the Count participated in his wife's cruelties, he may have also restrained her impulses. When he died in the early 1600s, she became much worse, and with the help of former nurse Lona Jew and local witch Dorota, Bathory began abducting peasant girls to torture and kill. She often bit chunks of flesh from her victims and one unfortunate girl was even forced to cook and eat her own flesh. Bathory reportedly believed that human blood would keep her looking young and healthy.
Bathory's vulgar crimes became impossible for the authorities to ignore, and the Lutheran minister made complaints against her, both publicly and at the court in Vienna. But it took until 1610 for the king to act. Hundreds of testimonies were collected and what they revealed stunned them. Witnesses reported that young girls as young as ten were abducted by Bathory, beaten severely and mutilated before dying a slow, painful death by freezing, starving to death. Some girls were burned with hot tongs or had parts of their faces bitten off. And the legend is that she bathed in her victim's blood to remain youthful and beautiful. But there is no testimonies or witnesses that say that this was true, and it is likely it was the truth being twisted into a tantalising hearsay, exaggeration and religious scaremongering. On December 30th, 1610, Bathory was arrested in her home, along with four of her servants. Many witnesses could not offer first-hand evidence, but would insist the hearsay must be true. Many servants confessed to heinous crimes under duress and after intense torture sessions. Her public trial and execution was forbidden due to her high noble status, as the scandal would not be worth the attention. She was forbidden to leave her home instead until the day that she died in her sleep, at the age of 54, in 1614. Some believe that she was a victim of a political ploy to take control of her land, and others have raised the possibility that she was targeted due to her differing faith. However, there is a hard evidence that numerous bodies of dead and dying girls were found in the castle, and so the truth is probably simple. She was a sadistic aristocrat who believed that her privilege sheltered her from punishment, and in many ways it did. She got to die in her own bed with her family at home, after all. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories and leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them.